Hi, I'm creating this video because I don't remember when I was so excited about the new technology and ever since seeing this teaser from OpenAI about DALI 3 being integrated into ChatGPT, I kept asking myself the same question. Will I be able to create books and stories for my kids? Because as a father, I've been really dreaming about it. And this teaser, I saw it for the first time like three weeks ago, gave me a little bit of hope or maybe even a lot of hope. And today finally was the day when for the first time I opened my ChatGPT and I came here and I saw DALI 3. And so the biggest question in order to um, create books and stories for your kids is will it be possible to make characters consistent across different images and i've played a little bit with that and that's what i came up with and those results are astonishing i have to say and i've played it a little bit more and i just want to show you what i did and how you can recreate those steps and I hope you will have a lot of fun with it. Just as I had a lot of fun and I got really, really excited today because those, this lion is just so consistent. Like, look at him. The eyes are almost identical. The nose is really similar. And everything, his ears, everything is so close that I'm really, really, really impressed with the results today. So maybe like, uh, let me just go through it. So this is easier than I thought. And I've played with it a little for, for a while. Uh, like, oh, again, I got the access only today, but I went through some iterations. And first of all, I, when my first question to ChatGPT was, will you be able to generate consistent characters? And it's described me some some things and then created some prompts and those were the first results that were really really surprising like those his it's created three characters that were consistent which is all which was already very very promising uh, but like there was some like, complete misses and then i just you know those are some different poses but and those two are very very similar but these are just different styles. And I just kept playing with it, like with giraffes and also something more with lions. And this was, those were the first results that really surprised me, uh, like that were very, very close. So yeah, I think I've kind of managed to see how, it sh how it's supposed to work and yeah, the first thing I, I just want to tell you is like the, this description from ChatGPT was uh, it mentioned like seeds for consistency. And if you're familiar with Midjourney, you know that the seed is this random number that is used to like kind of remain consistent across different images. And it told me about, you know, just saving the seed so it will help you to ma maintain a similar style and appearance for that character, which probably isn't exactly true, but it was, so, it, it, it was something that gave me a direction on how to create those consistent images. And I just ended up with, you know, creating those very very similar prompts and that uh, so to create those four lines that, that look very very similar i just used i just repeated myself like photo of a cheerful lion with a golden mane bright bright blue eyes and a white friendly smile and then i used four different verbs like sitting sleeping running and eating so sitting sleeping running and eating and it was already great. Uh, and I mentioned this seed, so use seed 42 for every single image, and it did. And 
I love the results. So then I said, now take the same lion and the same seed 42 to generate images with the following prompts. And I kept the description of the lion. And then I did some little changes like wa walking on a savanna, talking to his elephant friend, chasing a butterfly, reading a bad story. And those are the results. And again, these lines are very, very similar to each other. And what's even more important, they are similar to those lines. So, I mean, they're not perfectly identical, but you really have to be picky to look for, for differences. And yeah, I, I just loved it. And I'm still very, very excited about that because like I said, creating those stories and books is my dream. And I want to do it with the help of modern AI, like with those tools like ChatGPT and DALI right now. And then I played with it a little bit more. So I told it to change the seat to 111. So I was expecting to see a slightly different lion, but but with the same, like it's consistent, but different. But in the, in the end, I got the exact same images. So I don't really know what what's this seed, what's the role of this seed. But then I thought, because of my previous experiments, I really wanted to keep this photo. So it knew that I want I wanted the photo every single time. Because if I show you something that I've created previously with those baby giraffes, I wanted to make them identical. But then I realized, oh, by the way, when you click on, on the image, you see the prompt. And I realized that those giraffes were different because of the leading word. And it was the photo, that's the illustration. And this is the vector image, and this is a cartoon. So I really, really wanted to make sure that I get this leading word every time the same. And all of these are photos, but then I thought, okay, will I be able to generate similar, uh, Again, uh, consistent characters, but not as a photo, only like a car more like a cartoon. And that's what I told you. Now take the same prompts, but change photo to cartoon. And look what I got. And I got the cartoon version of the same lion, which is also so similar. So like, look, eyes are the same and the nose is the same and the smile is the same. The main is the same, probably different light here, so close. And I was, I just, I was amazed really. Like this was my favorite part when I saw that those were also so similar. So I hope that this is the way, I, I mean, I've got it from only uh, starting on, I started playing it with it only today. So I'm still about to learn more about it. But as a bonus, I want to show you one more thing, which is almost exactly amazing, but differently. So yesterday I realized there was this super, super powerful magic studio on uh, Canva. And I want, I just want you to show you what I did with those images. Uh, so I took this image, I saved it on my computer and let me just show you and paste it into can it to Canva. And again, talking about those books and stories, I just increased the size of, of this image. And then I went to edit photo and this magic studio gives you some, uh, this tool called magic expand. And I want it to, to use the whole page. So I'm expecting it to add a more background, more savanna background. So it's a full picture because, you know, the lion is very, very close. And yeah, we'll see what, it, what, what I end up with. It's, and I've got four, four different results. So this is far from perfect, to be honest, because those trees and uh, don't look very natural and it is very, very random sometimes. So Again, it's not perfect, but I've done all of it 
without with zero design skills. I'm the worst, worst, worst designer. I hate designing things and I don't know how to do them and I stay away from that. And that's why, like I said, my dream was to create those books, but with zero design skills, it was impossible until now. And right now I am able to actually create books for my kids. So let's say, uh, let me just show you one more thing, because let's say I, I ended up with this version and then Magic Studio gives you one more thing, which is amazing. <laughs> I, I know I keep saying amazing. Uh, let me just use this magic grab thing uh, only to show you what's possible. Uh, so right now it took a photo, but it's recognized that this lion is actually a separate thing. So I can move it. I can, you know, make it smaller. I can do so many things which makes my life so much easier right now so i know like this chat gpt thing and um the dali thing is a paid version you need to be a, a chat gpt chat gpt plus user and if you don't want to spend any money on it yet i i will highly highly encourage you to play with it anyway. That's why I will provide you with a link in the description with a referral link because uh, OpenAI allows it uh, now. And with this link, we, you will get a 14 day uh, trial for ChatGPT Plus. So you you will have two weeks to play with all, the, all of those amazing features. And I think I will just end the video here. It's already much longer than I wanted it to make. But the point is, you can make those consistent characters and like creating stories and books for your kids or maybe not for your kids for anybody has never been easier and yeah let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos on this or maybe how to create an entire book like that now, that's something i want to explore so i think i will create a video on it anyway but yeah, that's it for now. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe this video because I believe that it provides a lot of value for many people. And I will see you in the next video.